Hey guys, what was this production? It's supposed to show you tips and tricks, VFX tutorials, and more. I'm Micah, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a professional logo inside After Effects. So all you're going to want to do is head down to this button right here, and then click it, and that'll make your new composition just hit OK, but I already have one uh, made. So next, all you're going to want to do is go up to Layer, New, and then hit Solid, or you can do Control y um, And then you're going to want to pick a color that suits you best. I'm just going to stick with white for now. Um, and then hit OK. And then what you're going to want to do is, is drag in your logo above the white solid. I'm just going to scale mine down. Um, you might be working with text instead of a logo. Um, I'm just going to be working with a logo for now, but if you have text, it's exactly the same, the same process. Um, so what you're going to do is go head up to the top and click on this, the pen tool, or you can hit G on your keyboard. And what you're going to want to do is make sure your uh, logo or text is selected. And then you're just going to want to start left clicking. And actually, you're going to want to hold down to make it so that it's very curvy. This doesn't have to be perfect. Just click kind of everywhere. Uh, make it all crazy, you know. And then once you're done with that, uh, just click back to where you started on that cube. And then what you're going to want to do is um, open up this tab if it's not already opened. And then open up masks mask one and then you're going to want to um, actually yeah you're going to want to go to the mask feather and you're going to want to put it about hundred I find that that works best for me you can uh, play around with how much or how little you want your feathering to be but I'm just gonna stick with hundred for this tutorial and then if I turn off the mask lines you can see this better um, if you go over to the mask expansion and you start dragging it down you can see just to disappear so if you have it like this and then you start to drag the mask expansion up and see it starts to fade in and it looks really really nice so what you're going to want to do is is uh, make sure you're on the beginning of your timeline and then uh, click the stopwatch on mask expansion then you're going to want to go two three seconds forward kind of that area and then you're going to want to drag the mask expansion until your logo is completely showing. And then what you're wanting to do is uh, hit graph editor. And that will bring you into this. Um, and then you're going to want to uh, go to right click and hit edit value graph. And then you're going to want to make sure that this, this cube is selected. And then click on easy ease. And you're going to, you'll get this little handle here, and it'll be a little more curvy. Um, you're just going to want to drag it out, kind of like that, and then we're gonna preview it. All right, let's see how this looks. I like it. I think it looks nice. I'm gonna just move this back, kind of the three second area, so it'll go just a little slower. Oh man, that looks that looks really good actually. I I really like that. Um, so what you're going to want to do next, this is just this is uh, optional. You don't have to, but I prefer to do this. Um, what you're going to want to do is uh, select your logo or text and hit S on the keyboard, and that'll open up scale. And then all you're going to want to do is go to the beginning of your timeline, and then hit the stopwatch on scale. And then what you're going to want to do is is go to the point where about like here where it's almost finished dissolving or fading in but uh, it's not completely um, and then you're just going to hit this and that'll add a keyframe and then go back uh, to the beginning and uh, let me see probably in my case I'm just going to do negative seven so make it just a little smaller so oops, not negative seven uh, just seven <laughs> and then go um, and click on this button so you can go into the graph editor make sure the last keyframe or the the top top uh, square <laughs> um, is selected then hit easies again and then just pull this little handlebar over just a little bit and that will just make it much smoother looking wow that looks really nice so, you see one more time there. 
So yeah, guys, that's how you make a professional intro in After Effects. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, leave a thumbs up. It helps out a lot. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. Uh, if you have any other ideas, comment down below on what you want to see. I'm, I'm open for any ideas. Thanks. Bye.